Being a Muslim is about being positive to the utmost. So being a practicing Muslim, it means to be positive. If you were to look at Islam in, in its different aspects, you find it's all about empowering the individual, to give him direction in life, and to set him in a direction where he knows that no matter what happens, he's still got hope, and that he's got a chance until he has his last breath. Mm. Therefore, since our breaths are numbered, we got to make sure that they are spent in the right way. And every breath is taken in a way that only makes us grow and come closer to our Lord and to be people who, are, who contribute in a society, mm. who, who spread a message that truly everyone needs to know the reality of it because truly it comes with solutions in all aspects and specifically here we're talking about being positive. And one thing that I want to share, and forgive me, uh, I really get passionate about talking about this stuff. <laughs> Subhanallah, Allah Azza wa Jal, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, He said, If the hour occurs, while there is in the hand of one of you a small plant, let him plant it. You might ask the question, what's the reason behind that? I'll tell you, because your duty is to work until the last second. Subhanallah. And for you is to do, and upon Allah Azza wa Jal, is the results. But it's about leading hearts. To, to grow. Yeah. It's about causing minds to overcome obstacles, to see hope in the midst of darkness, to, to, re, to be that person who's just simply inspired. That is what a leader is. A leader is someone who can give that positive impression and look and be a source for the power yeah. for others around him. And I'll tell you one thing. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was the best of leaders and I say this bluntly and openly and I don't feel shy about this and I don't say this with a hype but I say it with believe in it mm. why? because he was a man who did not lead bodies but led hearts and mind mm. to be the best of people even in the midst of hardships and this is oh. what makes him so special until this day and we say alhamdulillah that we have such a role model that we can follow and we can take him as an example. There's not a belief that Islam teaches except, except that it's there to empower you. All beliefs that Islam comes with is to, to purify your heart and your mind from all that which is uh, impure and also to give you the strength to be someone who can continue a journey that its end is with Allah Azza wa I like something that SubhanAllah, I like one of the beautiful examples from the Prophets. And I recall this was the Prophet Hud. When he was someone who turned to Allah Azza wa Jal. And he put his trust in Allah Azza wa Jal and he made his dua. It didn't matter anymore how many enemies he had. It didn't matter anymore where he was. He told his enemies who are this in dislike for him and they want to hurt him. He tells them bluntly and straight up, فَكِيدُونِ جَمِيعًا ثُمَّ لَا تُنْظِرُونَ Plot against me, all of you, and don't give me any time. <laughs> I have put my trust in my Lord and your Lord. At the end of the day, you cannot hurt me. You cannot do nothing. You cannot even affect me with nothing. If it wasn't for my Lord allowing it, and just take into consideration that my Lord will not allow it except to increase me in status. And as one of them said, when, when you find yourself going down and down, because of the pressure that you are faced with and because of the many uh, who, who just don't want to bring you up. We have people like that. You always got people who just want to destroy you mm. and they don't want to see a flourishing uh, nation, you know. They don't, want, they don't like seeing it at times, you know, unfortunately. But I'll tell you one thing, I like what was said. He said, when they push you down, remember the best place to go is all the way down in prostration to Allah Azza wa Jal. Ask him and come back up <laughs> because that won't bring you down. <laughs>